And now we just need to move these patterns around a little bit. So I'm going to click this one, hold down shift and click this one and just move these out. Since he's a little bulkier. There we go. And now when I sew these, they're probably going to be a little tight, but we can change that. So hit spacebar to go ahead and simulate. There we go. So now we've got a pair of pants on him. If we want to, we can click the default fabric. We can change the color. Um, the preset is a big one. So you go down here to preset and we can change this to say um, D denim and that'll change it to more of a denim type coloring here. Uh, if you want to loosen up any of these areas here, you can see if we go here to this little heat map, which is the strain map here, you're going to see it's loose around his legs but tight up around here. So you can always go in here and make adjustments on the fly just by hitting Z to go into the pattern editing tool and then you can just click these lines here or these dots and move them out. Same for this back area here, we can move these out. You can go into curve mode here if you want to you know, make the legs more baggy, you can kind of balloon them out. And then when you're done, just go ahead and hit spacebar and that'll go ahead and re-simulate. So now he's got a little baggier pair of pants here. If you want to make them longer, just tap, go to Z, tap one line, hold down shift and tap another line and then hold down and then just start moving and that'll drag both of these down. Go ahead and hit simulate. And that'll go ahead and simulate a little bit longer. You can do all sorts of cool things. Again, this is just a basic tutorial. This is kind of starting to slide down here. So let's go ahead and move those points up. So we'll just hold down shift and move these up here. And that'll kind of make those a little straighter. And then on the top here, it looks like they're getting a little bit loose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these top lines and pull them in just a bit. And that'll kind of cinch his waist in a little bit. Uh, if you want to make his legs a little bit more form-fitting, what you can do is go to this curve mode here, and then you can just kind of cinch in the legs here, and that will kind of give him a little bit more of a skinny jean look, a little more form-fitting on the legs, and then you can really baggy out the bottoms if you're so inclined. Let's go ahead and just have a little bit of fun here on both sides. Give him some bell-bottom legs here. Now another thing we need to talk about is um, we can go ahead and cut in those internal lines. Remember how we did that cut across the jeans uh, in our pattern here in ZBrush. So what I can do is I can go in here to the chalk and I can just take this chalk and like do a cut line right around here. And let's say we want to just do a cut line through here. Uh, so what that did was put a chalk line here. So now I can go to this internal polygon line and we can just click here, here, and then here, and that'll cut an internal line on both sides. Just double click on that last point, I'm sorry. Uh, and then we can go back into Z, right click that dot, convert to curve point, and now we can go into the chalk edit. Go ahead and click all these blue lines, hold down shift, and just delete those out of your uh, system here if you don't need them anymore. Um, if you want to, you can cut along these lines. You can click them and then do cut and sew and now it'll cut these bottom parts off and sew them together so when I hit spacebar you're gonna see that there's now a seam line along here so now there's a uh, seam that you can do another thing you can do is we go hit undo if you don't want to cut them but you do want to pull them in along those patterns you can uh, click them and go over here to elastic turn that on uh, this elasticity is controlled by ratio so you can crank up the strength of the elastic and go ahead and turn on your simulate and it'll start sucking those in and then you can turn down your ratio and that'll um, increase the ratio between the length, segment length and the elasticity. So you can really start pulling in uh, areas to get some interesting wrinkles or if you have knee pads or something you can do that. Uh, a lot of different ways to do Marvelous Designer. Again, this is just a really quick overview course here. So let's say we like these pants here. We want to get them out of here. So we're going to go ahead and, well before we do that, Go to your Edit All Patterns tool, select all of your patterns, and you can go to your particle distance. This is going to increase the complexity of your geometry that's simulating the pants and the wrinkles. Uh, so the lower this number is, the smaller the distance between the particle is, and the finer the detail you're going to get. So if I lower these down to 10, it's probably going to turn off my simulation. So just hit spacebar again, and you're going to see my wrinkles get a lot finer. Now it's also going to affect the performance on your computer, see how much slower it's going on my laptop here. So that's something you need to take into consideration. Um, but you can usually drop this around five without too many problems, just let it simulate. And when it's done, or again, you can go to default fabric and you can change it from denim to like a lightweight nylon or whatever uh, fabric you choose here. And it'll just go ahead and resim to that fabric. Uh, when you're ready to go, just go to file, export, OBJ. And we'll do, um, we'll do pants centimeter. 
We're going to select all patterns, select all avatars just so we have scale reference when we bring it in. Uh, we can do a single object, weld it, thin is fine because we'll give it thickness in ZBrush. And we'll go ahead and export it as centimeters, hit OK.